I want to welcome everyone again to another short demonstration on Creo Parametric. Today in this demo, we're going to look at relations and how relations can be created. Also, how you can change certain names of dimensions used within relations. Again, we're using Creo Parametric, uh, which is using the ribbon interface for those of you that have not seen it, especially if you're coming from a Pro E version or a previous Wildfire version. So let's actually start looking at this object. Currently, right now, if I just edit the object, and again, I'm illustrating the right-click functionality here within Creo, just by selecting object, right-clicking my mouse, and choosing edit. I see I have three dimensions, which you could call a length, width, and a height. Now, if I look at the names of those dimensions, let's say I switch symbols, I see the symbols or names are D0, D1, D2. Let's make these a little more descriptive. What I'm going to do is change the properties of each of these, and give these actually a more uh, descriptive name in this case. I'll make D0 depth. I'll make D1 in this case height. And the third dimension, D2, I will make width in this case. Okay. Now, with those names defined, what I would like to do is write my relationship in this case. And what we're going to do is we're going to solve for volume. So we're going to make volume a constant. So I'm going to start out by saying volume, in this case, my constant, equals 320. And then what I'm going to do is solve for two specific dimensions, in this case width and height. So I cannot change width and height. They're going to be automatically calculated. The only dimension I'll be able to, in this case, change will be depth. So let's write the equation now, the relation if you will. So basically our volume is going to be calculated by the width times the height times depth. Okay, pretty straightforward, nothing, nothing too fancy in this case. Now what I'm going to do in the next step is I'm going to say our width is basically equal to 2 times our height. And then what we're going to do is we're going to solve, in this case, for width and height. Meaning I cannot change my width and my height. The formula will actually calculate those. Again, we're basing everything on the volume of this object being 320. Now, whenever you write a relation, whatever type of uh, um, expression you create, always, always, always verify your expression. So I'm going to verify that. It says everything calculates, all of my math, my... Uh, uh, functions are correct. And then what I'm going to do is hit OK. And then I'm going to switch back to my numbers and I'm going to regenerate. Now remember in this instance here uh, it's going to calculate your width and it's going to calculate the height. The only, fun the only one dimension I can manually change is my depth. So I'm going to regenerate and those numbers now change based on the volume that constant we entered in of 320. So now if I select my object, right click again, showing the right clicks of Creo, and choose edit, I see dimension wise these values have changed and updated according to the relation. So my width, my height, and my depth have all changed. Now just to show how this formula works, let's say you change the depth of 16. I'm going to change it to 10. Just key in 10, hit the enter key, and what I notice is the in this case width and height dimensions change. That's because of the relation and how the relation was calculating this. Now if you try to change the width or the height, you're not able to. You get a message on the bottom of your screen saying that it's a simultaneous calculation and it's in a relation for the width and the height, therefore you can't change that. Looking back at the relation here, I actually see that. So this is based on a volume of 320. The function solve in this case is solving for the volume. Volume is calculated with height and depth. And then I'm calculating a width, which is 2 times height, and I'm solving the actual width and the height based upon, in this case, a total volume of 320. So another very ingenious way bringing out the true parametric capabilities of, uh, in this case, Creo, adding in relations. Uh, we can add in parameters as well um, to make really, really intelligent models um, for what you're creating every day uh, in your engineering practices. Creo Parametric, very intuitive, very smart, and again, very flexible and easy to use. Thank you.